Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. Today we're going to be talking about finding those coveted four-star ascension items. Where are they? I'm going to give you 17 different places that you can find four-star ascension items. Many of these will be friendly for the free-to-play and cheap-to-play players. And then, yes, of course, there are going to be a few that are only open to players that spend on the game. So pay-to-play will have some opportunities here to find some four-star ascension materials that may not be open to the free or cheap-to-play players. By taking advantage of all of these places that we can find four-star ascension mats, I recently was able to get 14 different four-star ascension mats inside of 48 hours. I'll wrap up this video with explaining how I was able to do that. All right, let's jump in and look at the first place that we can find four-star ascension items. Believe it or not, sometimes they pop up in the Mystic Visions. Those little commercials are worth watching. You can watch two or three a day depending on your schedule. I try to watch every one I can because you just never know when we're going to get lucky enough to find a four-star ascension mat after one of those commercials. Although not often, the second place that we can find four-star ascension items is in the regular daily monster chests. We can fill those just by doing our regular farming while playing the maps. And every now and then, a four-star ascension item will pop into one of those monster chests. Although the monster chests can provide a four-star ascension item, I have far better luck in finding them in the hero chests. Now that may be because I try to fill three to four hero chests every day and only two monster chests. Don't forget to pay attention to your loot tier. If you can, try to always finish the hero chest while you're in diamond level, as that has the greatest chance of the greatest rewards. If you're pay to play, it's definitely worth advancing the chests so that you can fill more chests each day, which increase the chances of finding four-star ascension items. The fourth place that I find four-star ascension items is from Hunting Titans. I'm fortunate that my alliance is awesome and we kill 14-star titans every single day. So that means every day we have a chance to find a four-star ascension item in our titan loot. Along with killing all those titans every day comes a titan chest every five days. And no surprise, that's our number five spot for finding four-star ascension items. Occasionally the titan chest will give us some awesome loot. Speaking of things we can do with our alliance, let's not forget about war and the war chest and the war rewards. Every now and then, four-star items pop up. The number seven spot to find four-star ascension items is in the elemental chests. These pop up randomly in place of one of our regular daily chests. From what I can tell, if you consistently advance your chest, the elemental chests pop up more often. I constantly advance my chests and I get an elemental chest every three to six, seven, eight days, maybe nine days on the outside. But the elemental chests give some great opportunities for four-star ascension items. Check out this chest, I got two in one. Before I share the eighth place to find four-star ascension items, let me just tell you, I just found out about another place, so there's going to be 18 on this list. So the number eight spot to find them is in one of the six rare quests. A couple times a month, we will get a rare quest, either Mount Umber, Shrike Wood, Frost March, Four Home Pass, Shiloh Desert, or Merlovia. And those each have at least one four-star ascension item and one three-star ascension item. And that is a great place for free-to-play and cheap-to-play players to also find consistent items. Number nine is the four seasonal events that happen throughout the year. Spring Vale, Sand Empire, Return to Molovia, and Santa's Challenge. Each of those feature an opportunity for four-star ascension items. The tenth spot we can find these items is in the ascension chests that come in certain summons. Not every summons has a ascension chest to go with it, but if you're looking for like Atlantis, Valhalla, and the costume pulls, they definitely have a ascension chest that goes with them. So if you're free to play or cheap to play and you're saving gems for doing a big pull, at like at least a 10 pull, I would do them in the summons that get the ascension chest because you have that extra chance to get a four star ascension item. If you are pay to play, this is another opportunity to be able to gather more ascension items by doing extra summons just to fill those chests. Number 11, the last two levels of the Alchemy Lab give the opportunity to create four-star ascension items. The second to last level has the chance of transitioning a three-star ascension item into a four, and the last level will absolutely give you a four-star ascension item, but you need to put a four-star in. So you're basically changing what item you have into another random item. 
Number 12 is a second way that we can get Ascension items out of the Alchemy Lab, and that's by combining Alka Shards. Every time we transmute something in the lab, we get some Alka Shards as a byproduct, and when we get a thousand of those, we can combine them into something random, and sometimes that random option happens to be a four-star Ascension mat. Number 13 on our list is the Goblin Crate. Believe it or not, every now and then we can get a four-star item in there too. Yes, you gotta pay for those, but it's the nature of the game. Number 14 on our list is the Weekly Raid Tournaments. Yes, if you place well, you have a chance of getting a four-star Ascension item. I'm typically in the top 1%, and I have at least once received a Tabard for that placement. Number 15 on our list is placing well in the monthly challenge events. Yes, this is a challenge. That's what it's called, a challenge event. But if you place in the top, you're guaranteed to get some four-star ascension items. I took way too long jumping in to start competing in these events because I thought it was too intimidating and too hard to do. But I've been very pleased with my success. In the last two months, I've gotten 10 four-star ascension items from placing well in any of the various tiers of competition. I would suggest picking one that you feel like you could potentially be strongest in and trying to master that. Once you learn the pattern of placing well in one of those challenge events, then it will open the door to you competing in the other two tiers. Give it a shot. It's a great way to get Ascension items. All right, coming down towards the end, we have three more ways to get four-star Ascension items to talk about. Rounding out number 16 here is definitely one for the pay-to-play players. And that is the sales that come up with special events or at different times of the year. So we're currently in the Santa Challenge event throughout the month of December. And they have these specials every day. And this particular special was the Winter Fun, which included a pile of gems, two four-star ascension items, some three-star ascension items, and a whole load of other things. These are pretty expensive, but if you're already buying gems in the shop, it's a lot cheaper to get the gems this way, and you get all these items with it. So again, pay-to-play players might be a valuable option to get some of these hard-to-find items. Number 17 is another one that is more geared towards the pay-to-play player, uh, and that is in the shop. Every few days, you will see these Ascension packs that are for sale. And, you know, the odds are kind of ridiculously against us as they are with any of the RNG-based lottery-style givings that the, the game offers. But I can attest to the fact that you do get four-star Ascension items here occasionally. It's I usually run them like maybe every other pack that I'll actually get a four-star Ascension item. It does get a little gem-heavy, and all of the other items are, are frankly useless to me, but... They do add to the pile of inventory. But if you are pay to play and you're willing to, to, to spend some gems on these, it's basically a little slot machine, and every now and then you get a payoff just like any other slot machine in the game. So this is pretty exciting. This is number 18, which didn't exist when I started producing this video. And this came as a surprise to me that there was another way to get four star ascension items in the game. And that is completing the Ninja Tower. There is one final. Uh, chest that we get to open when we finish the 50th floor. I was not fortunate enough to have gotten a four-star ascension item in my final chest, but I did see a number of players posted that there is in fact the possibility of getting a four-star ascension item in one of those chests at the end of the ninja tower. So there's some inspiration to complete the tower if you have not already. So that concludes the 18 ways that I know of to get four-star ascension items. If you feel that I missed any or if you have any feedback, please go ahead and put in the comments. What I'm going to do now to end this video is just show how I was able to get 14 different ascension items, four-star ascension items, in a 48-hour period of time. Let's go to that right now. Okay, we're going to bring this all together now and explain how I was able to manage to get 14 four-star Ascension materials inside of 48 hours. It started with a Tome of Tactics from a Titan chest. Next, I managed to get a Mysterious Tonic from combining Alka Shards in the Alchemy Lab. Then it was a set of Poison Darts as a battle reward. The next three came from the Ascension chests from doing summons. So there was a Damascus blade, and that was followed by a telescope and another Damascus blade. 
The next one was the big payout from placing in the top spots in all three levels of the monthly challenge event. For my efforts in that event, I managed to score two mysterious tonics, two sets of rings, two telescopes, and another tome. Last but not least was a Damascus blade and a regular wanted chest. So I hope this video helps and gives you some idea of all the different places that you can find these incredibly hard to find four star ascension items. I hope you have much luck in locating them because they are crucial to getting our five stars to that final ascension. Happy gaming!